after Halloween, Kyle had four and three eighths bags of candy. I'm going to write that as a mixed fraction over here so it's easier to see. If Kyle gives one and seven eighths bag of candy to his little brother, how many bags of candy will he have left? So let's picture this. Kyle started with four and three eighths, and then he gives away one and seven eighths. So we're starting with the original amount, and we're subtracting one and seven eighths. Now, what this means is we, we have a subtraction problem with mixed numbers. Now, when we're subtracting with mixed numbers, what I always like to do is I like to first convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions, and then convert them back to mixed numbers. The reason is with subtraction of mixed numbers, it's easy to get confused when you're working with the whole numbers in the fractions. So I convert this first by multiplying 4 times 8 to get 32, and then I have to add the numerator to get 35, and my denominator remains the same, 35 eighths. Here I multiply whole number times denominator to get 8, and then I have to add the numerator of 7 for 15, and then I have 15 eighths as my answer. Now I have a simple subtraction problem. 35 minus 15 over 8 is equal to 20 eighths. And when I simplify that, I can see that I have an answer of 2 and 4 eighths bags of candy. This word problem represents a subtraction problem of mixed numbers with the same denominator, but it's still important that we know how to subtract those correctly.